Last week, I had a video chat with my cousin, Ahai. She's my second uncle's daughter. When I was a child, I went to my grandma's every year. We always have a good time together. We haven't seen each other for many, many years. She has two sons. One is running an advertising company in her hometown. The other works in Beijing. At present, she is helping her older son look after his baby daughter, who was a young grandma. Ahai and my mother had a very good relationship. My mom said if she had a chance to visit my grandparents' home, the first family she would visit would be Ahai's. It's my first time to ask Ahai about my grandma. Hey! Ah,那时候 so here is another version of my grandmother's dad. My cousin heard this from her father, my second uncle. When my grandfather was classified as a landlord during the time China was liberated, not only my grandfather, but also my two uncles were tied up, criticized in public, humiliated, and beaten. Whenever she saw my uncles being beaten, my grandma rushed to protect them. What's more sad is that some of the people who joined in the fight against my grandfather were family members. My grandma was not in good health for a few years. Such a life was life purgatory for her. Grandma committed suicide by jumping into the river near the village. The graves of my grandparents are together.
it's very difficult for me to believe it. Anyway, I can't tell my mom about this at the moment. I need to talk with my uncles first. Let's see how my mom was after my grandma left. <laughs> After Grandma left, Mom was sent to her mother's sister. When Mom was about five or six years old, she came back to my grandfather. But my grandfather was in poor health. And after being ransacked, the family had nothing to eat or to wear. At that time, mom's cousin had a young baby son to take care of because she had to take part in the village collective work. She needed some help. In order to survive, mom was sent there to be a baby sister. During the corn harvest season, normally every family would bake corns for their children, but my mom never got it. One day, when my mom carried the baby boy out to play with the little girls in the village, a little play partner gave half of her corn to my mom. When my mom went to the toilet, accidentally the half corn fell out of her pocket into the toilet. At that time, every family had an open air toilet. Her cousin saw the corn in the toilet and thought it was my mom who stole the corn. So she bit my mom and cursed her. Mother ran back to my grandfather's and cried that she would not go back there anymore. However, because there was no one to help with the baby boy, after a few days, the cousin came to pick my mother up again. My mother said she helped her cousin to look after her son for more than one year, but she didn't have any new clothes and was often hungry. After she left the cousin's home, my mom was a baby sister again for another family, her neighbor. It's near my grandfather's home. My mom was about eight or nine years old at that time. There was a school in front of the village. When other children were in class, my mom carried the baby child and stood outside of the classroom window and looked in. Where did you go? The neighbor asked my mom when she got back home late one day. I was in school and watching other children having classes, mom said. Can I go to school? 
Mum asked. Mum was lucky. The neighbour agreed with her and paid for school. Then, Mum carried the baby to school every day and sitting in the back of the classroom. After class, other children went to play games and Mum was busy changing the diapers or feeding the baby. After three years, Mum couldn't continue to go to school because there was only a three years primary school in the village. Year four and year five school was a bit far away. There was no way for mom to carry the baby to a bed. Mom worked as a baby sister for more than seven years, from six to 13. Now, let me tell you about my own experience as a baby sister. I was also a baby sister when I was about six years old. I looked after my sister then. At the time, my sister was only a few months old. What impressed me most was that my mom helped me carry my sister in a backpack. And then she went out to work with other villagers. When my sister soiled her diaper, I could not carry her on my back anymore. Often, I cried with my sister until my parents came back home from work. Indeed, being a baby sister is really, really tiring and difficult. What's more, mom was a very skinny little girl. I'm much more luckier than my mom because my parents love me so much and they never treat me badly. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. See you next time.